Another name for thirds, if you are American educated, I think is radicals, but we don't say that here. But if anybody was American educated, <laughs> they might have heard this word instead. <laughs> radicals? No. Anyway, it's not important. So, oops, what exactly is a third? So thirds look like this. Um, and these are all, well, maybe not C really, mm, integers, integers. Integers. Yeah. which means numbers like this. That's what I mean by integers. So for example, this is a third, uh, but something like, oh, I don't know, this would be not a third, really. So we are going to look at these today, thirds. So I'm going to show you something um, which I remember doing in elementary school. So I hope you remember doing it in elementary school. Elementary. Elementary school, yes. All right, that's what I said, elementary school. So Say you have a number like, I don't know, 60. So watch this. I'm, now think back to elementary school. Think yeah. about your elementary school teacher who taught you maths. Okay? Get a picture of them in your mind. So um, give me two numbers that make 60 when you multiply them. 32. 30 32. and 2. Okay. So, now you give me two numbers that make 30. Make 30? Yep. Mm, 4? Yep. Minus 15. Uh, not this one, 2, 15. Yeah. Oh, so 30. 30, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 30, yeah, yeah. Uh, 15. 3 and 5. 3 and 5. Now we have to stop here because we can't continue. Yeah. 3 is just 1 and 3. So, we stop. There's nothing more to do. Can we do anything with five? No. no. Uh, two? No. no. Two here? No. no. Uh, does anybody know the name of these numbers? Well, these are prime numbers, yeah. These are called prime, prime numbers. Prime. No, no, no. Stick to English. What are we saying? In Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Stick to English. So what did you say? Translate for me. <laughs> it's the same. The same. Of course it's the same, yeah. It's the same in every country, yeah? Did you do it in elementary school? Yes. Elementary school, yeah? Do you remember this in elementary school? Yeah. Maybe? Yes? Yeah. So, the reason this is useful is because you can now say 60 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. We got a 2, 2, 3 and a 5. Or if you want, it's 2 squared, 3, 5. Multiplied together. In fact, uh, this is quite useful skill for today's lesson. Okay, So write this down, and then we'll see how we can use this for our problems with search.
Got it? Okay, so let's see. How can we use this uh, for problems with serves? So, first example. Simplify root 108. So what you can do on the side, 108, let me see, uh, that is 4 and 22, no, 27. Mm. Yes. 4 is 2 and 2, and what about 27? 3 and 9, and 3 is 3 and 3. So you try to, so listen carefully, you try to put your prime numbers together as pairs. I'll show you what I mean. So you have a 2 and a 2. That makes 2 squared. You have a 3 and a 3. That makes 3 squared. Uh, and then you have a 3 here by itself. That's a 3. So you try to make squares. Make squares. And the reason you do that is because now you can say this is square root 2 squared, square root 3 squared, square root 3. What's square root 2 squared? Well, this and this cancels. It's 2, yeah. And this and this cancels. It's 3. And what's 2 multiplied 3? It's 6. So the answer is 6 root 3. Make sense? Yeah. I'll do another example and then we'll do more difficult ones. Huh? You check if it's recording or not? Oh yeah, I probably should. Well, I think it is. It is. Okay. <coughs> you have that? Yeah. So let's do one more example of this and we'll try and do it a bit quicker. Okay. So we have root 2, 4, 5. So 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 times 41. Uh, 51? No, sorry. 4. Uh, 5. No, no, no. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, <laughs> 49, I ruined it for me. Uh, and 49 is 7 times 7. So what's the first square we can make? 7, seven squared. And then what goes here? 5. The square root cancels the square, so you're left with 7 root 5. The square root and the square cancels on the 7. The square root doesn't do anything with the 5, it, I mean just stays the square root 5. So the answer is 7 root 5. That's the simplest we can make it. Okay. Can I scroll down now? Yeah. So here's another example of something we want to simplify. Root 6 to 4 plus root 39. So, let's see. 6, 2, 4, that would be 3, 28. And then 28 is uh, uh, 14, 2, 7, 4. 4 times 7. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So we have 2, 2, 7, 3. So this number here, now I'm going to skip the set, you know, so you can work it out yourself, but we'll try and do it to, without having to do every single step. So what will happen is you'll get 2 squared, and what's square root of 2 squared? It's 2. So there will be a 2 here, and there will be a root 3 multiplied 7, which is what? 21. So it's 2 root 21. Now let's look at 39. That's 3 times uh, 13. No, it's... Sorry, it's 3 times... 13, isn't it? Yeah. 3 times... Wait, something feels wrong. Uh, 
3 to 10, isn't it? Yeah. Something feels wrong. Like I did something wrong with my 6 to 4. Is... No. Yeah. Why did nobody know is that 6 to 4 is definitely not 3 times 28. <laughs> Two hundred and eight. Not <laughs> twenty-eight. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. Two o eight. Um, two and then one o four. Good. Okay. One o four is twenty-six and four. Twenty-six is two and thirteen. So we have. Uh, 2, 2, oh, and 4 is 2 times 2, 2, 2, 13, and 3. Okay, so let's see what pairs we have. We have uh, a 2, and a 2, and we have another 2, and we have another 2, uh, and then we have a, just one 3 here, and then just one 13 here. Okay, so this will be root 39, and then there'll be 2 and 2, so 4 root 39. Whoa. And then, <coughs> well, I can see what 39 is. What's 39? It's 39. Because we already know that we can't do anything with it. 5 root 39. 39 is 3 multiplied 13, which some, you know, no one happens to it. There's no oh. squares to take out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it just stays as root 39. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's go um, to another example when you're ready. You have this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, let's say. Seven minus two root five, six minus six root five. I should say that I sometimes see this question in the exam, and it's very important that you write all the steps down. Because, you, in fact, you can do this on your calculator, but that's no good because you don't get any marks. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes uh, the instructions are do not award the final mark if there's no work. So you could get zero. Yep. So it's important that you show the steps. Show each step. Okay? So first, 7 times 6, 42. 7 times 6 root 5 is minus 42 root 5. This one by this one here is minus 12. Five. And then this one here is the interesting one at the end. It will be minus 12 times 5. Because root 5 by root 5 is just a 5. So we have 42 minus 60 minus 42 root 5 minus 12 root 5. So that will be minus 18. Yeah? Isn't it? No. No? Not minus 18 for these two? Uh, maybe 42 plus uh, 60. Plus 60, we think. One sec, where, where's the 60? I forgot where I got the 60 from. Oh, at the end here, isn't it? No, oh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a plus. plus. It's a plus. It's a plus. So that is 102. Oh, that's not plus. That's minus. This one here is a plus. The, no, the lower. The, uh, the oh, this is the minus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So then this is minus 54 yeah. root 5. Now, what's interesting here, if you look, in the question you have numbers like A plus B root 5. Yeah. You see? Both of them. And then if you look at your answer, it's also A plus B root 5 type of number. Mm. Yeah. 
So this is what usually happens. Okay, um, let's do another example. Yes. <coughs> Can I scroll down? Yes. Yep. Root 150 minus root 5, root 6 minus root 80. Now, uh, what do you think we should do first? We should multiply. No, actually, I don't think we should multiply first. Oh, okay. I think we we should, yeah, simplify each of the four. Okay. So if you think about 150, if we imagine the tree, it's 50 times tree. And what about 50? Five times. Five times ten. And what about ten? 2 times 5, so we have a 5, a 5, a 2, and a 3. So we have a 5 squared and a 6. So this will be uh, 5 root 6. 5 root 6. <laughs> minus root 5 is uh, just minus root 5. Root 6 is just root 6. Now 80. 80 is 4 times uh, 20. Isn't it? Yeah. And 20 is 5 times 4. So you have 4 times 4 times 5. 2 squared by 2 squared by 5. So you have 4 root 5 for this one. So if we multiply now, we get 5 times 6. And then when we do this one with this one, we get minus 20 times root 30. And then this one times this one is minus root 30. And then this one times this one is ma uh, plus 4 times 5. So this will be 30 minus 21 root 30 plus 20. So it's 50 minus 21 root 30. 30. Okay, do you have that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, okay, so let's look at uh, the last type. So, so far we've looked at multiplying and we've looked at adding uh, and simplifying. So now let's look at dividing. So for example, if you have minus 10 plus root 1 or 7 over minus 2 plus root 3. So the first thing you should do is not really too surprising because it's just like with the last question, you should simplify all the thirds. So let's see, 1 4 7 is 49 times 3. We had that earlier today. So, four, so it'll be 7 root 3 on the top. Over minus 2 plus root 3. So maybe somebody actually remembers or has seen this before in high school, maybe. Does anybody know what we should do next? To simplify. By what? 2 minus 10 plus 10 to minus 2 plus 6 across. No, there's no equal sign, so there's nothing to cross. Well, there's, okay, I know there's the equal sign here, but let me change it to an arrow. I think we can't have uh, oh, 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 No. You simplify it. Like oh, you're so close, but you're wrong. No, no, no. Almost. No. Ah, ah, ah. 
We can stand signs and whatever. Thanks, yeah, thanks, 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 no, we do the sign. We can't sign and switch it up. Yeah, okay. We need to be happy. Look, what you need to do here is you multiply the top by minus 2 minus root 3 and the bottom by minus 2 minus root 3. Now, if you look at this, what does this... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, yes. This is 1. So you are allowed to multiply by 1 because it doesn't change anything. But um, the reason for this here, I mean it looks nearly the same except for the plus becomes a minus. This is called, for vocabulary, this is called conjugate. The conjugate of minus 2 plus root 3. That's what this is called. You just change the sign on the red by minus. Just change the sign of the uh, the root. Mm -hmm. Please write that word down. Conjugate. Conjugate yeah. So for your English, please note that conjugate is a noun and a verb. Okay? Conjugated. Yeah, you can say conjugated because it's a verb. Mm. And also the answer is called the conjugate, which is the noun. So it's a noun and a verb. Okay? Um, anyway, let's continue. So, this here now is minus 10 plus 7 root 3 minus 2 minus root 3 and then down below we get minus 2 plus root 3 minus 2 minus root 3 so let's multiply the top and see what we get so we get 20 plus 10 root 3 minus 14 root 3 uh, minus um, 7, 21 7 root 3 by minus root 3 and then down below we'll get 4 plus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 minus 3 so on the top we get minus 1 minus 4 root 3 and on the bottom we get 1 yeah. now notice we can cancel this yeah. that is not an accident that happens because you use the conjugate so in fact this always should happen if this doesn't happen it means you made a mistake so now we do minus 1 over 1 minus 4 over 1 root 3 which of course is just minus 1 minus 4 root 3. Here to here? This one? How I got it? Is it? Like how did I get this step? I multiplied the top. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. This one, the green one. Oh, they cancel because this is positive 2 root 3 and this is negative 2 root 3. Mm -hmm. So together they make 0. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I said at the start of the lesson that they're integers, but it's okay if they're fractions. We still call it a serve. So, like, for example, this and this is okay in the answer. It's still a serve. In this example, I got the number 1, you see, at the, uh, down below. Yeah. 
I don't usually get the number one. I usually get like two, three, four, whatever. So that's okay. That's fine. Uh, we just care that this happens. This is what we care about, that you get zero there. Okay. Uh, now, a little bit more vocabulary. This whole process Rationalizing. That's the verb for this whole process. Rationalizing is a verb. Yeah. And if you want to be more specific, like what's the sentence? So we don't say, yeah, uh, yes, but if I want to stick with rationalizing, well, how would it go in a sentence? Can I rationalize No. Not like this. We need to make the subject a little bit clearer. Rationalizing the following. Rationalizing the following, yes. Uh, I'll help you out. Uh, rationalizing, what's the name of this part? Denominator, yeah. Rationalizing the denominator. Because what has happened is here is the third and here it is not. So the verb rationalize means to go from third to non third. So we say rationalizing the denominator. I was going to non third. <laughs> Uh, I've never actually found any need to do that. Do you rationalize I don't know. I've never come across that. Denominator? Sorry, I'll write it clearer. Is that okay? My writing is terrible, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll read it to you. D E N O M I N A T O R. Is that the word you want this? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it the other word? Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Guys, you have it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? You have it, Simon? Yeah, okay. Um, so this is, we have conjugate and rationalize are the two words for this. You need to know this because in the exam the question might say, simplify by rationalizing the denominator. You know. Or the question could say, by using the conjugate, simplify. So please note the word conjugate and rationalize. I just want to clear up some, just make sure you're clear on conjugate. I have um, four numbers here, and I want the conjugate of the four numbers. So, um, here, what's the conjugate here? What's the conjugate? Tell me. What's the conjugate? Give me the conjugate. Minus root three. And what's the conjugate here? Yeah. No. Minus two. Minus root five plus two. Be careful. It's this sign on the root. Mm -hmm. You change the root sign? Yes. Yes? What? No, 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 no. 
Okay, you're happy? <laughs> Is that, everything's okay? Yeah. Good, all right. Uh, what about this one, two? Two. It's two. Yeah. And here? Minus seven. Minus root seven. Minus root seven. Minus root seven. Why two? Because you only Why not? Because two is like this. Two plus no square roots of any number will be two minus no square roots of any number. There's no root. There's no root. It doesn't change. Only the root part changes. You don't seem happy. You look very unhappy. You don't like that, no? Uh, Here, let me help you. What's the conjugate? You tell me. Two. No, just you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two? Minus five. Minus <laughs> three? Uh, two. Okay, and what about this one? Okay, what about this one? And lastly, what about this one? This is the same, yeah? Yeah? Convinced? Yeah? Okay. You can't look too happy, but okay. And so I'll let you work on these for a few minutes, okay? Uh, I'll let you work on these for five minutes, then we can take a break and do the second class, okay? Uh, so what I want you to do for your homework is I want you to do the last three in each of these. The last three in each. So it would be, for example, x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z, w, x, y. 